pirating, and it doesn't kill people with RPGs. Ah, uh, unless they download Final Fantasy VII, but I'm. <laughs> Nah, it's bad. That was awesome. You that was bad. It. That was awesome. That was just bad. Well, well, well you could so, have done uh, better. So even though uh, Somalia has no government, uh, we have a government. Yeah, what about it? We vote for it tomorrow. Oh yeah, election day. But it's just shitty town government. See, I really, I was excited because I like the town we live in, Beacon, and I wanted to uh, get active. But I read the proposals of the two sides, and. It's all either FUD or just straight up BS, and neither one of them actually has a position. Well, the thing is, those are just like the vote for me pamphlets. We have to find like the position things, which is not easy to find because apparently the town is internet incompetent. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go in and vote, but I don't think I'm going to vote for any people. I'm only going to vote on any propositions that may happen to be. Yeah, I'm going to go in and I'll look at it, and you know, I'll look and I'll see if there's anything that looks like I want to vote for it. I'll click it, and everything else, I just leave it. Whatever. Yeah, well, there's supposed to be some town propositions and stuff, and maybe we can vote for a judge, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. There's even a story on FARC today about how I think less than a quarter of people are going to vote in this election because no one cares. Mm. Nothing's, at, nothing's at stake. Yep. If there's a school board voting, I'll vote for uh, the non-incumbent school board. I think I'm going to vote for a non-incumbent anything forever until things change. Yeah, but that won't make things change, I don't think. It would if everyone did, but not everyone will. Yeah. So. Oh, well. What are you going to do? I'm going to get me a DS and my Wi-Fi. We already have a DS. It already has Wi-Fi. It just doesn't have a game to play. Yeah, Mario Kart's coming out. When's it coming out? The 14th. I'm going to oh be there ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll become the Grandmaster of Mario Kart DS as I was the Grandmaster of Mario Kart GBA. Will the C. It's not even like a, a C. It, it, it's... You will see because it will happen. <laughs> it's not. It's like there isn't doubt. But at least apparently it works with every freaking router, unless you're using WPA, then it won't work. Yeah, but if you don't have uh, you know, an open wireless or a WEP wireless or a uh, Buffalo AOSS access point you can use, you know, you can uh, use the little USB uh, thingy. Yeah, the little dongle. So, like, if there's only if the only access around is like a pay T-Mobile hotspot, well, the DS can't really use that. But your laptop can use that, and then you put the USB thing in the laptop, and then you're good. But I don't know if it's Windows only, which I'm pretty sure it is. So that's from not... what I've read, it's Windows XP only. Oh, that's really kind of bleh. I yeah. mean, at least all Windowses and Mac. I mean, I can understand if you're not Linuxy, but you should be Linuxy though. Yeah, you should. Hell, they should make it like Mac people are real ticked that it's not Mac friendly. You know what they could have done? They could have made it like a Java app to start it up. Who who would have thought of that, huh? Uh. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Bastards. You know, now if I'm somewhere where, you know, there's no, you know, wireless that the DS can actually use, I'm a mess well. Yeah, but that's fine cuz I still have a million single player games to beat. Yeah, I'm just not going to buy the USB thing, I don't think. We don't need it. Well, we don't need it in the house, but what if we go somewhere? I imagine places like Otakon and all the other cons we go to. Hey, what if you go to, like, a hotel and they have pay wireless? I mean, there are actually a couple hotels signed up to have DS access points the same way McDonald's ah. does. I think it was, like, participating uh, regencies or something like that. I didn't – I don't remember. But, you know, what if I go to, like, you know, uh, Marriott was not one of the ones listed. We wouldn't pay for that anyway. I mean, at the uh, Renaissance where we stay for Otakon every year, it's like 10 bucks a day to get access. I can't believe they charge. Oh, my God. Because business travelers pay it. They're so dumb. Because their company picks up the tab. Oh, I have my company. What if I go somewhere on a business trip? My company picks up the tab. How am I need to... Uh... When is your company going to send you on a business trip? Oh, they almost sent me to Florida a long time ago. Great. So you get to go to Florida. I get to go to, like, Connecticut. Connecticut's cool. Mm, not Windsor, Connecticut. It's just a little suburb. Yeah. Most of Connecticut is a suburb. In fact, the whole state is pretty much a suburb. Ha <laughs> ha. Except for like two cities and a nuclear submarine factory. The rest of it's suburb. All of it. Huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah. Whole thing. So, on the internet today, well actually kind of yesterday, there was this website that said, Greatest Internet Moments. Um... Is this a real list, or is this a stupid list? Well, the list, it wasn't any sort of official list, 
But um, the good thing about this site is it brought back many lost artifacts. Welcome to ZomboCon. ZomboCon wasn't one of them, at least not one I saw. What? It might have been there. I just didn't see it. But it had. Uh, it reminded me of the the Chow Chow, the little stick figure fighting. Oh. And it reminded me of Radis Skull. I am the Radis Skull. Yeah, and it reminded me of. The long lost Hayuchi. Oh God! We'll have to link to that because I don't even know what to call it. Well, you know, people uh, haven't seen that. A lot of people who've only been around since, like, you know, uh, recently, they they never saw this stuff. Well, actually, it was a while ago. I was at work, and so they they'd all discovered banana phone. You know, ling ling ling. Oh, ling, great! Ling, I don't, banana I didn't, phone. Oh, God. So they discovered it, and they were laughing at it. And I was like, oh, it's just like badgers. And they're like, what now? Badgers. Watch this. They didn't know the badgers. So I had to show them the badgers. There was a guy I heard on a podcast today. It seemed like, to me, like he just discovered the Numa Numa dance. Oh, the Numa Numa dance. Let's see what a Star Wars kid. My, uh, he. <laughs> that's My, it. Uh, who. Yeah, Star Wars kid. <laughs> and uh, I think that's just, you know, I can't think of any other ones, but... This website was just loaded with all that stuff, and it, you bring it back. Homestar was on there, you know. Homestar's still going, but I don't watch it anymore. Well, it, was, it was real good in the day, but I just kind of lost interest. I imagine it's still the same, but it's just more of the same. No, because remember the good old days before the gimmicks? You know, I'm, I'm <laughs> 75% sure that my email was the gimmick email. Yeah, yeah. I, I have it somewhere. That's your claim to fame here. Of course, I think they changed, you know, my name on it and stuff. Whatever. You see anything cool? Actually, there's something weird out of Korea because everything weird that happens comes out of Korea. Nowadays. But, yeah, but it isn't you it isn't the usual stuff. It isn't like kid dies playing video games or crazy moon water. It's this eight year old who's going to university. Eh, it happens all the time. Yeah, Song Yu Gwen. Wants to build flying cars and all this other stuff, apparently. Yeah, I remember when I was in second grade, and they were like, what's it going to be like in the year 2000? And everyone was like, flying cars! And I made a flying car out of constructs, but it, it's year 2005, there's no fucking flying cars. The thing is, the article isn't real informative, and as I read it, it looks... M there's no like, oh, you scored this well on this test, or blah, blah, blah. And there's a chance that this is some sort of crazy publicity stunt. Could be a crazy publicity stunt. It was just a slow day on the internet, and this was the coolest thing I saw. Mm. You know, I think if we actually educated kids properly, though, that they would be that smart at that age. Yeah. Or at least, you know, the ones that were smart. I mean, I remember in fifth grade, or no, God, fourth, fourth or fifth grade, one of those two years, they had a little pilot program. You could stay after school, and they teach you algebra. Yep, I did that in fifth grade. And we learned algebra, and we learned that, oh... It's real easy. Why didn't you teach us this sooner? Yep. I remember in first grade, they gave us, like, math problems where there'd be a box, and the box might be on the other side of the equal. Oh! And then you might have, you fill in the box. And then later, when they showed me algebra, I was like, I could have done this in freaking first grade. I've been <laughs> bored in math class for five years. Why didn't you freaking say something? Yeah, I think the educators in this country really underestimate kids sometimes. Well, you know, no child left behind. Yeah, yeah, gotta gotta go to that lowest common denominator. I think everyone underestimates kids. If we ra if we let kids run the country, then we wouldn't have a deficit. We wouldn't have a war. We wouldn't have... I imagine we'd have some other problems. Like? Uh, all the retirement money and Social Security would probably disappear. Uh, I don't know, the kids like their grandparents. Yeah. Grandparents yeah. spoil them. They might let them have it. I picture wars starting over uh, silly things. Uh, at least it's be young versus old is better than uh, poor versus rich. Yeah. yeah. First, remember, the U.S. didn't sign the Human Rights Accord specifically because the Human Rights Accord gave rights to children. Well, no, they specifically didn't sign it for other reasons. That's just one of That was things. one of the reasons, one of the main ones, because they didn't... The way it was worded, technically, you couldn't take... You're like America, children aren't allowed to sign contracts and things like that. Yep. And legally, that would make it so children can sign contracts. Children should be able to sign contracts. Yeah. If, in fact, you know what? There are some people who are old enough and allowed to sign contracts who shouldn't. <laughs> and there are children <laughs> who can who aren't allowed to. I say if you can understand the contract and prove you understand it, then you can sign it. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, but you can't do Age discrimination. Like that. What? 
They can't really have subjective measures like that. Well, you know, you, someone reads the con. You say, Who? Who says they're the authority? No, someone reads the contract. Then 